To log in to GeoTab Drive, enter your username and password and select Login. Once your credentials are confirmed, the system will synchronize your data before loading the main interface. Next, select your vehicle. If applicable, you can review the Suggested Vehicles tab to select a vehicle that you recently drove. If there are no suggested vehicles, you can search by vehicle name, VIN, serial number, or license plate, and select the appropriate vehicle. If you will not be driving, or do not know what vehicle you will be assigned to, select No Vehicle. Please note, if you are using the USB IOX, the vehicle selection step will happen automatically. The following screen is the Asset screen, where you can select trailers or add shipments. To add a trailer, press the plus sign and select a trailer from the list. To add a new trailer, type the name you would like to give the trailer. Then select Add. When you are done selecting trailers, press the Continue button to go back to the Asset screen. To add a shipment, press the plus sign. On the next screen, enter the shipper name, commodity, and document number, and select Add. When you are done attaching shipments, press the Continue button to go back to the Asset screen. To remove a trailer or a shipment, you can press the X to the right of the asset's name. Press Save and Continue to go to the next screen. If Feature Preview is enabled, you may see the Availability screen which may appear in your login workflow for several reasons. If a driver is using the HOS exemption setting, this will signal to the driver that they can still use the HOS exemption setting. You may also see this screen if you have not fulfilled your rest break requirement or if you are in active violation. If you forgot to go off duty at the end of your previous shift, you can update your logs by pressing here to add an off duty log. You can add an annotation and off duty log that will follow the last automatic on duty status log that you created. Next is the Driver Verify Log screen. If there are any pending log edits, this screen will prompt you to accept or reject those changes. To review the proposed edit, select any log highlighted in yellow and then press Accept or Reject. To verify a single day, press the Verify button. Alternatively, after reviewing all days and ensuring all logs are correct, drivers can scroll to the bottom of the screen and select Verify All Days. Press the Agree button to certify that these logs are correct. If the vehicle you selected was driven without a driver logged in, you will be prompted to claim unassigned logs. Select any logs that belong to you and press Assign to Me. If none of the logs belong to you, press Skip. Next is the DVIR inspection screen. Press the Inspect button to begin your DVIR, or skip the rest if it is not required. If you would like more information on how to complete a DVIR within GeoTab Drive, please watch the video linked in the description titled GeoTab Drive DVIR Walkthrough. You have now successfully logged into GeoTab Drive.